Hi you guys, it's Emerald from EmeraldSocialClub.com. Uh, I know I said I'd be recording more videos, but life happened and a lot of different things, so we're just going to start over again. So the purpose of this video is basically just going to be six things that people who sew want you to know. There's a lot of uh, people who've recently started sewing and a lot of other people who don't sew see that and they're like, oh, yay, can you do all of these things for me? And sometimes as people who sew, whether you call yourself a sewist, a seamstress, whatever you want to be called, we don't always want to do all of that. So I just want to give you six things that um, people who sew want you to know. So let's start with number one. We don't all sew for others. We don't all want to. And not all of us want to be a fashion designer or you know, even want to sew custom pieces for people. Um, in the event that most of us, if we do that for you, it's an extremely valuable gift and you had better appreciate it or you will pay. Do not sit up here and ask somebody to make you something custom. Oh, I want this special dress for my prom, for my wedding, for anything, or I just want to have some bum, something different, and then you want to pay a Walmart price. Yeah, that's not going to work. You're going to pay if someone decides to do something custom for you. And realize not everybody wants to do it anyway. Uh, number two, not everyone just sits around and quilts. Um, many people who sew do not quilt at all. They don't have any desire to quilt, don't want to, and sewing is so much more than quilting. That kind of brings me to my, well, this is kind of like a 2A point. Um, not everyone does all one type of thing. So uh, it kind of relates back to number one in a bit, in a way, that if someone does do something for you, they, if they are a person who does mostly clothes, they're probably not going to quilt for you. Now, there are some sewists or seamstresses, whichever you, you know, prefer to be called, that will, they will do it all. Um, I like to do pretty much everything. I like to, sometimes I'll do a quilt, even though it takes forever. Um, I really love sewing clothes, of course. Um, I like to sew things for my home. I like to do it all. Not everyone does, and don't expect everyone to. Point number three. Not everyone wants to sell what they make, whether that be quilt, home decor, clothing, or open an Etsy shop. Not everybody wants to do that. So stop asking people. Stop telling. People who sew generally will know when and if they want to move into a business realm, if they want to take it to the next level, they'll know that and they will do that on their own time. Stop pushing people. Number four, not everybody wants to be in any type of business at all. Um, not everyone wants to open up a shop. Um, not everyone wants to do alterations or do anything, not even take side jobs. For some people, it's really just a hobby. It's something that relaxes them and it's something they want to do on their own, on their own time and not be forced to make it a business and bring themselves that stress. So. Stop asking. When they are ready, if they get ready, they will do it. Point number five. Some of us, like me, do like to teach and are willing to teach you. But if we do that, whether it's part of a business or whether it's just like a friendly arrangement, respect our knowledge and respect our time. I've been sewing, actually, this is year, coming up on year seven since I started sewing. Um, I've done a lot, I've taken classes, I have done a lot of self-knowledge as far as reading, as far as practice, and that takes a lot of time. It's something I enjoy doing, but it still takes a lot of time and I've built up knowledge. So when I do teach, I want people to respect that I've done that and respect my time in doing so. Um, that's why... For me, it's better to actually charge for teaching because people more respect your time in doing so when they pay for something. Occasionally, I might give a lesson or two on the side that, you know, I discount or something. But remember that when someone is doing that for you, respect their time. So show up on time, uh, come with the right attitude, bring the things that you need to do, and respect that person who is teaching you 
because they have taken out the time to be able to do so whether it is um, a paid arrangement or not. The person who is teaching you has taken that time out and put that aside for you. So the least you can do is to respect that. Um, point six, this is kind of goes along with the teaching point. If someone is teaching you, don't say I can't. 100% of the time, I forgot someone, some famous person said it before, whether you say that you can or you can't, you're right. Stop saying I can't. If you really want to do it, you can. Whether you start slow, when you, whether you make a lot of mistakes in the beginning, whatever. You can do it if you want to. I tell people all the time, if you want to learn how to sew your own clothes, if you want to do your quilting, whatever you want to do in the realm of sewing, you can do. Just stop saying that you can't and just do. I started um, with just a basic sewing class from Joanne and then had to kind of work up my knowledge, you know, a lot of practicing by myself, a lot of trial and error. I wanted a lot of fancy things that I couldn't make in the beginning because my knowledge wasn't there. I would try it anyway. Sometimes I would fail, sometimes I would succeed. It doesn't matter. I decided I wanted to do it, so I did it. And I practiced and did whatever I had to do to be able to do it. That's really all of them. That's number, um, that's all six. But I do have a bonus. One thing that a lot of people will ask of someone who sews is can we hem their pants? That? No. We don't, most people don't want to hem pants. I don't hem pants. I'm short. I don't hem my own pants. I hardly wear pants because I prefer dresses, but hey, whatever. I don't hem pants. Most people don't want to hem your pants. Don't come and say, oh, it's only going to take just a second. We don't do it and don't want to. So that's all I have uh, for this episode of a few six things, six and a bonus things of what sewists want you to know. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe. If you're a sewist and you have something to add to this list, please add it in the comments below. And one last thing. Uh, just to let you guys know, for you who sew, my sewing retreat, Emil Social Club retreat, is coming up March 8th through 11th of this year. So if you can make it out, please visit my website, emeraldsocialclub.com, and follow me on social media, and I'll give you all the information. Bye, guys.